Hey, good morning. Welcome to another day up here on Mockingbird Hill. Um, it is a beautiful day. Uh, this morning, I want to tackle a project that I have been wanting to do for a long time. Um, <clears throat> we don't have a lot of shade in our chicken run. Uh, and so I'm hoping to handle that a little bit today. Uh, we will see what happens. Um, I have got the chickens and the ducks still put up for this morning uh, to try and get this done with as little um, distraction as possible. So uh, let me show you what we're gonna get started on. This is the shade cloth that I got. I don't know how much uh, shade it'll actually provide. It said it was a shade cloth on Amazon. So we'll see, it's eight foot by 16 foot. Um, and the plan, <clears throat> the plan is to, <clears throat> excuse me, it's still early morning, so I'm, I'm a little froggy, but the plan is to attach it here to the top rail um, using some eye hooks and then uh, these little spring links. Um, it would be removable. Uh, I got these plastic caps to nail it, um, you know, probably on the other side uh, is my hope. Um, on top of the chicken coop. So I don't know if this is gonna work. I don't know how much uh, shade it'll actually provide, but if it doesn't provide a lot, then I'll probably just get a tarp the same size and have it be just solid. Um, because right now we've got this tree in here, but obviously it's too small to provide a decent amount of shade uh, for the birds. So we're just gonna do our best and see what we can uh, work up for them. All right. Uh, I've got the first screw eye attached. Um, this is only a, what is it, two by four that it's going into. So I'm not gonna screw it in all the way. Plus I want it to have a little bit of give when it attaches to um, the, the little latch because I'm going around this uh, four by four. So I want it to have give so that it's not gonna be, you know, uh, stretched tight around that one. So I think by having this little bit of uh, length left out and then the, the latch, I think it'll, it'll be all right. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and measure out um, just a little bit shy of eight feet to put the next hook in and, uh, or screw eye, I guess is what it's called, and um, see how we go with getting it attached and then see where we are um, on the uh, the roof of the chicken coop. One thing you want to do is make sure you drill a pilot hole. Um, drilling the pilot hole makes uh, makes it so that you won't split your board um, when you're going in. You don't want to do that. That would that would not be good. So make sure you drill a pilot hole first, um, a little bit smaller than what you're screwing into the board. Um, that'll just help. All right, we've got our spring link attached on both sides. Now we're gonna go get the shade cloth and hang it and see how far it'll stretch over the chicken coop roof. I wanted to document the amount of sun this gets. Obviously it's seven o'clock in the morning, um, but you know, that's quite a bit of sun. It stays sunny all day and uh, the chickens end up hiding under here, which is not something I want for them. I want them to have more space to relax and be cool. Um, and you know, <laughs> enjoy the summer a little bit more than they do. My, my son Christian is up here helping me hold the shade cloth down as we nail it in place with these plastic cap nails. He says this is the most fun yet most terrifying job I've given him. <laughs> okay, so we've got it all nailed down on this side. You can kind of see over there, Sophia. Good morning, Sophia taking care of her bunnies. Uh, we'll see how much shade this actually um, produces. It's not, so far it's not much. You can see here that it uh, does provide a small amount of shade. Um, you know, I'm facing east, so it's gonna get the, you know, the morning sun coming in through it anyway. But the plan is, or the hope, is that at least for the afternoon that it'll provide some relief. Um, I hope it works because nailing that to the roof um, was kind of, you know, not necessarily easy. And so I'm hoping that I don't have to 
replace it with a tarp, although I will if I feel like that will work better. Um, what I'm wondering is if I do have to replace it, maybe I would put those little screw latch things on this side and just be able to, you know, change it out at will as they, you know, wear out and different things. Um, so we'll see what happens. Doesn't really matter. Um, you know, it's an experiment. Hopefully it'll provide the chickens a little bit more relief, um, you know, in the uh, summer months. So that's all I got for today. I'm gonna clean up and uh, get eggs and feed the chickens and go about our day. Hope you have a great day. Bye-bye. Okay, so I know I've ended this video twice already. Um, I just wanted to update a little bit. I've been kind of watching this through the day. It is uh, about 10 o'clock. I can see that it's providing some shade. Um, that's good. My roosters are fussing with each other this morning. Um, that one right there is Waylon. And this white one over here is, is Willie. They've been at each other all morning. They're just mad. Um, so yeah, we'll see. It's not a deep shade so far, but I don't know that it's supposed to be that. Um, I like the idea of the shade cloth because it'll let uh, water through, um, but it's supposed to block most of the sun. So we'll see what happens. All right, this is the last update, I swear. Okay, you can see that the shade cloth is working. It's not a deep shade, it's a light shade. Um, but overall, I think I'm pleased with it. So, hooray! <laughs> All right, I hope everyone has a great rest of their day.